2017 was a spectacular year for SpaceX, but 2018 is already looking like it will be even better. I'm Zach, you're watching Zach DTV, the place for interesting news from around the net, and let's take a look at this. Yesterday on Instagram, Elon Musk put out these. That is a photo of the Falcon 9 Heavy, standing tall on launch pad 39A down at the Kennedy Space Flight Center in Florida. That's the same historic pad that was used to launch the Apollo rockets. But now it's home to the BFR, the Big Falcon rocket. This lift actually happened on December 28th and was basically used as a way to make sure the strong back would be able to lift such a massive piece of equipment. This rocket is 229 feet tall or 70 meters and weighs 3.1 million pounds. Can you see why they call it the heavy? And when this thing fires, it's going to be running 27 engines, producing 5 million pounds worth of thrust. I mean, the shuttle launches ran a little more and the Saturn V did too. But the thing with the Falcon Heavy is it will be able to carry a bigger payload than ever before put into space. We're looking at numbers like 140,600 pounds or 63,800 kilograms. And according to Musk in this Instagram post, Falcon Heavy now vertical on the former Apollo 11 moon rocket launch pad at 2,500 tons of thrust equal to 18 Boeing 747 aircrafts at full throttle. It will be the most powerful rocket in the world by a factor of two. Excitement on launch day guaranteed one way or another. Hold down test fire will be next week with a launch at the end of the month. Like I said, these images went up about 15 hours before I filmed. So next week will be the week of the 7th and we're looking at a launch by the end of January. As for the payload, he said he was going to send his Tesla Roadster, and here it is, prepped for launch. That's a photo of it sitting in a nose fairing for the Falcon Heavy. So he is going to launch this thing. I mean, he said it himself. The payload will be my Midnight Cherry Tesla Roadster, playing Space Oddity. Destination is Mars Orbit. We'll be in deep space for a billion years or so, if it doesn't blow up on ascent. Personally, my favorite thing about it is his choice of music for this launch. As for the part about it blowing up on launch, well, Musk does learn from his mistakes. And in a statement from last year, he did say concerning the Falcon Heavy, there's a real good chance that the vehicle does not make it to orbit. I want to make sure to set expectations accordingly. I hope it makes it far enough away from the pad that it does not cause pad damage. I would consider even that a win, to be honest. So he does have some pretty realistic expectations. This might look like a Falcon 9 with two extra boosters strapped to the side of it. There's really a lot more that went into building this and designing it. Like I said, they have to control 27 different engines, all of which will be firing at takeoff. And then once they leave the pad, the center section is going to throttle back, the outer ones will stay at full, and hopefully everything will go well. And after everything is spent, the two side boosters are going to detach. They have both already seen flight, so we'll get to see them do a twin landing at Cape Canaveral. And the middle section is supposed to come down offshore on SpaceX's Of Course I Still Love You drone ship out in the Atlantic Ocean. So if people thought this over California was crazy to look at, imagine what three rockets coming back to Earth is going to look like. I do have to say, if you're in the area, make sure to catch this event live because it will be spectacular no matter what happens. It can blow up, be pretty amazing, or put that car into orbit. Either way, it's going to be something pretty cool to see. And on that, I'm going to wrap it up. Thanks for stopping in. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to click that subscribe button down below and hit that bell notification so you know when I upload something new. I am here Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so I hope to see you here again. And until next time, have fun and be safe.